You guys had a much needed bye week, played great against Rutgers. I think a lot of people felt like that as well as Penn State was uh, maybe your guys coming out party. Um, what did you see from your perspective in that Rutgers game that just leads into uh, two great weeks into this game? Yeah, you know, uh, that was good for us, uh, playing well in that game. It really gave us some momentum going into the bye week. Okay. And one of our big emphasis on the on the bye week was to not lose momentum. So we practiced hard and, you know, we were getting after it, you know, keep that momentum going. So yeah, and it's, it's carrying over this week too. We got a good attitude and we're excited to go out again on Saturday and and uh, show the world what we got. What tells you, you you didn't lose momentum? I mean, obviously your starting quarterback is suspended for this game. Right. Uh, how have y'all maintained momentum dealing with that kind of situation? You know, um, just the way he handled it really helped. Um, and just, you know, we got guys ready to play behind him, mm -hmm. you know, and we're all confident in that. And, you know, we can do other things without him. So. Yeah, we're all, you know, we're ready to go. and Yeah, yeah. but talk about the guy behind him, Cardale Jones, yeah. who came off the bench a year ago. Right. I don't know, what, what do you expect from Cardale on, on Saturday night? You yeah. know, I expect Cardale to play great. You know, he's he's had a really good week of practice, and I feel like we all have. And I feel like if we all play good around him, too, that'll kind of, you know, get him going to play good as well. So, get the whole team clicking. So, I feel like we'll, we'll do that. Hey, is it not, is it? different to see Braxton taking some snaps and behind center and taking some snaps from you and just being back there behind the line now? Um, not really because he's done that kind of a few times this season. He's gotten back there and taking some snaps and ran the ball a little bit. So, you know, it's just, you know, it may be a bigger role this week for him. But Tell us about it. What, what kind of role you expect? <laughs> well, you'll, you'll see on Saturday. You'll see. Do you expect to see Cardell as the red zone quarterback on Saturday? I mean, yeah. Him, I've, him and Braxton will, will both be back there, so you know I feel like they're both dangerous weapons. We'll score points with both. So, <laughs> Pat uh, Taylor told us on Monday uh, that you and him both got individual calls from JT after his incident on the weekend. Definitely. Yep. Uh, could you maybe walk us through the call a little bit? What did you guys talk about? What did he say to you? And how did it help? Yeah. Well, you just kind of heard. You woke up hearing the news, and then you know I really didn't expect that from JT. And then you know I got a call from him like an hour or two later, and we talked and. He just kind of, you know, he told me what happened. He told me, you know, how he was going to respond and how this is going to affect the team. And we kind of talked about, you know, what we're going to do and how we're going to handle it. And it was, it was a really mature move by him. And that's, that's kind of what I expect from JT, you know, to handle it like that. And yeah, he's kind of talked about how this team's going to move forward from this and what we got to do as leaders to keep this train rolling. And you know, he, he fully accepts the, his responsibility for, you know, his actions. So. How much do you and the coaches um, portray just a, a next man up mindset? I mean, you guys had to deal with that last year with different quarterbacks playing. Obviously, slight stumbling block with JT. But uh, I mean, is that just you guys in the locker room? The coaches preach that. Is it just a culture thing here? What would you say? It's a that? it's a culture thing. Uh, one of the part, parts to our culture is competitive excellence, yeah. which means you know you're ready when your number's called. You know, I've experienced that. My redshirt freshman year, I had to go in the game. You know, JT and Cardell has experienced that. Everyone, you know, you get you have to be ready because mm -hmm. you know. The game of football is, you know, someone's going to go down. You're one play away. If your name is the, the backup rule, you're one play away from going in that game. And that's what you have to prepare.